Welcome to this lesson on how to run a PCmatic Scan and Clean. Before we go into the scanning feature of PCmatic, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. PCmatic does not open by itself and to start a scan, you have to initiate it by clicking on the icon or setting up a schedule scan for it to happen automatically. SuperShield is the real-time scanning engine that is always running. This is what protects and stops threats like ransomware and viruses from executing on the computer. It is the real-time scanning engine. You do need an active internet connection to run PCmatic and SuperShield. We recommend that you at least have a five megabits download and one megabits upload speed. To open PCmatic, all we need to do is double click the icon if it's not already open. This section shows the name of the computer that PCmatic is open on. This area shows your account information. And this area shows the computers that are on the account. If you are new to PCmatic, this section will be blank. I'm going to cover the options for a scan before we actually start. We get there by clicking the options button. By default, it will open to the scan options. I'm going to explain the most important options. The ones that are not covered are fine at their default positions. To change any of the options, all we would need to do is click the toggle button or select a different option from the drop down menu. When auto fix is turned off, you can view the scan results page and view all of the suggested fixes before implementing them. You can even exclude some of the suggested fixes if you choose. When auto reboot is set to on, the computer will restart after a scan automatically if a restart is necessary. Typically, when something is installed or deleted, a reboot or restart is needed to finalize and apply any changes. The drives to scan option shows all drives that are attached to the computer and you can select which hard drive gets scanned and defrag by putting a check or unchecking the box. Side note, SSDs or solid state drives cannot be defragged, only optimized by the scan. Defragging is short for defragmentation and it's a process run on most hard drives to help make accessing the files on that disk faster. Traditionally, it's something you need to do periodically as files on the disk become more and more fragmented over time. Here, we can set the disk optimization to full, partial, or skip. The major difference between a partial and full defrag is that a full defrag can take hours and a partial defrag takes much less time to complete. All this is dependent on how much optimization is needed and how much space is on the hard drive. Here, you can set the type of malware scan. The options are full, partial, selective, and skip. A quick scan searches common areas that malware have been known to hide and is sufficient in most cases to clean the computer. A full scan scans every single file on the computer and can take literally hours to complete. A selective scan is where you can select to have PCmatic scan removable drives, such as thumb drives, or any additional hard drive that you would like scanned by PCmatic. The rest of these options are best left at default. If any changes are made on this screen, we will need to click save in order for the changes to be applied to the scan. And that's it for our scan options. So we can click the X to close it. 
Now to actually start a scan, we need to click the scan button. Here are our pre-scan options. By checking or leaving unchecked any of these options, you can skip that part of the scan. To start the scan, we click continue. Once the scan is complete, you'll see this screen. If this is your first time running a PCmatic scan, answer the questions to the best of your knowledge, and then click save when you're finished. This is our results page. To have PCmatic clean the computer, we need to click next. Here is where we can change any of PCmatic's findings that we do not want changed. In most cases, you would want to leave everything checked and then click continue. This is the page that you will see when a PCmatic scan has been completed. We recommend after you complete your initial PCmatic scan that you restart and initiate another scan. And that ends our discussion for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video when we cover how to schedule a PCmatic scan.